It's 12.05, time for the KVGC Noon News, live from the National Hotel in downtown Jackson. I'm Dave Eisenhower. We're brought to you this hour by Volcano Communications and Grocery Outlet, and we'll be back right after this. Wet weather uh, continuing to continuing to make it through the gold country. A few weak wet weather systems will continue to bring light precipitation today. A much stronger system arrives Saturday and Saturday night, bringing heavy precipitation, gusty winds, and heavy mountain snow above 5,000 feet. Weather systems will continue into early next week. A flash flood watch has been issued for the Butte fire burn area in Calaveras County from Saturday afternoon through late Saturday night. Storm totals of two to four inches of rain are likely with isolated amounts of five inches. Impacts include possible mudslides, rock slides, and debris flows. Flooded or impassable roads are also a possibility. Downed trees, possible power outages, and urban and small stream flooding are all anticipated. Finally, a, weather, a winter storm watch has been issued for the Sierra Nevada from Saturday evening through Monday afternoon. Snow levels will start out around 8,000 feet on Saturday evening and then range from 3,500 to 4,500 feet from Saturday night through Monday afternoon. Total snow accumulations will range from 2 to 4 feet above 8,000 feet. 8 to 16 inches of snow is likely above 5,000 feet. The predicted, this predicted parade of precipitation has prompted a warning from Calaveras County officials. They say anyone living or traveling on roads in the Butte Fire Burn area along Sous Murray Creek and the Calaveras River, especially from Whiskey Slide to Highway 26, should be alert for probable road problems due to flooding, rock, and debris flows. Additional areas of concern include Railroad Flat Road, Mountain Ranch Road, and the connecting smaller roads within the Butte Fire Burn area. Large portions of the area have already been severely burned, and these areas no longer absorb any rainfall, which may lead to enhanced runoff and possible debris flows. Additionally, officials have restocked sandbag locations in preparation for upcoming storms. You can get information on locations at butte.calaverasgov.us. pg and is also gearing up for the storm system and asks that residents prepare as well because power outages are likely in a strong storm system like the one that's predicted. Mainly, they ask that you be safe by making sure your generator is properly installed by an electrician and treat any down power lines you see as live and call 911. With rainy weather expected this weekend, here's something to think about doing. The Amador Art Trek first Saturday event happens tomorrow. The free self-guided tour includes both galleries and other businesses that hang unique art on their walls. You can go check them out anytime. But the first Saturday events often include receptions in the afternoon to kick off new shows. Visit AmadorArts.org for more information and a map. CCWD has reopened their three emergency fill stations. Fire victims who do not have access to a public water supply or any other water now can get clean water in West Point, Arnold, and Valley Springs. You have to sign an agreement with CCWD and pay $10 a month. Then you will get a key from the CCWD headquarters at 120 Toma Court in San Andreas. Call 754-3543 for more information. Have you heard about lit free little libraries? They're a great way to get books for your kids, and there are 15 of them in Abador County, either already installed or will be installed soon. These little free libraries are for the public to use and enjoy. You just take a book and leave a book. 
Several local organizations are supporting these book exchanges. Visit littlefreelibrary.org and click on the map link, then enter your area to find one near you. And the second annual fundraiser for the Hub Youth and Community Center will be held tonight. Last year's event raised more than $12,000 for the Youth Center in Jackson, which proved to be a valuable asset for the community. And uh, Jim Geedy's here has some inf- more information about that. I'm the I'm the disemboweled voice. Or, I mean, dis- <laughs> dis- uh, <what> is- <laughs> I'll just go like... Yeah, there you go. So, you t- hey, uh, this is the second annual. As Dave said last year, we raised twelve thousand dollars for the hub. The hub has become a, a integral part of a lot of kids' lives and a lot of families' lives here in uh, not only Jackson but in Amador County. And there still are some tickets available. And would like to have everybody come on out tonight. It's your choice of salmon, steak, or chicken. You need to uh, let them know fairly short shortly from now. Uh, if you're going to come so they can make sure that they have what you want. But there's going to be delicious desserts tonight from the kitchens of the National Hotel and from uh, Kathy Simmons. And if you ever had any Kathy's desserts before, mm. they are fantastic. You can bid on desserts, take them to your table, and enjoy them with your uh, group. Also, there's a lot of great raffle prizes that will be raffled off tonight, and there's a live auction as well and there's uh, stays at the national hotel there's uh stuff just great prizes all the way around so it's for the kids it's an event for the whole family tickets are 40 bucks each and uh, thanks to stan and uh, the folks at the national hotel uh that money's all going to go to Accra tonight so come on out and make it a night tonight kent what what else you going to do it's going to be a little wet perfect place doors open up at 5 30 dinner starts at 6 30 and uh, Beth Stanton says she's even going to be there tonight. Well, so, you know, <laughs> if, Beth, if Beth shows up. You, you know, know it's going to be a party. And, and maybe even Wayne will be there too. Wow. Awesome. All right, Jim. Thank you very much. And that's going to wrap up our news uh, for this hour. We'll be back with the weather right after this. KVGC 1340, home of the disemboweled voice. (laughs) Yeah, disembodied. No, no, we're much better than that. Disemboweled voices here. Uh, Weather forecast calling for, uh, like we said uh, during the newscast, a lot of wet weather. um, I'm just looking at the the current weather forecast, and it looks like, and the clouds kind of confirm that, that the rain's probably going to start moving in uh, mid-afternoon today, and then it's going to stick around for several days and get really heavy over the weekend. 
So be prepared for that. And as we said, also, snow levels will be dropping to 3,500 to 5,000 feet by uh, Saturday night, Sunday, and Monday. So make sure you have your chains in your car. If you live in above those elevations, be prepared. Have your generator gassed up and installed properly and all that kind of stuff. Currently 70 degrees outside the KVGC studios and also outside the National Hotel in downtown Jackson. And uh, let's go to Jake with a look at the traffic. All right, thank you very much, Jake. It's uh, twelve fifteen, and we'll be back to talk about Friends of the Amador Library after this on Hometown Radio. Thirteen forty KVGC, uh, Dave Eisenhower, live at the National Hotel in downtown Jackson. I have uh, with me Jan Hewitt from the Friends of the Amador County Library. Jan, thanks for joining. Thank you for having me. And so, just to kind of start off and 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 let pe help people understand, what does the Friends of the Library do? Well, the Friends of the Amador County Library supports our county library system. Uh, we do fundraisers. We have two book drives a year. This is our annual concert that's coming up on March thirteenth. And the monies that we raise really help the library. Uh, we uh, purchase uh, new shelving. Uh, we help, you know, uh, purchase books. Uh, we uh, have some computer, computer stations for the kids, for literacy. So we just really, you know, want to help the library uh, do the best for the community. Great. And you have, an, uh, you talked about fundraisers, this event that you have coming up on the 13th. What, uh, what's going on that? Well, Dave Stamey is coming back. He's an award-winning Western entertainer. He'll be at the Call Church on uh, Sunday, March 13th at 3 p.m. Uh, the Call Church is a fantastic location for a concert. They have a, a beautiful performance space, professional sound, everything. It's really fun. So he is a fantastic guitarist, singer. He writes his own music. He does cowboy poetry, you know, stories. Uh, he's actually been a cowboy, so he knows what really? he's talking about. And I'm telling you, he's the best yodeler I've ever heard. He's, yodel. he's fantastic. Can you yodel? Do you know how to yodel? I don't know no. how to yodel. I Stand, admire you people who do. No, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> you can all. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, Close. it's really family-friendly entertainment. You bring the kids. He's great with kids. He, he's just really, you know, interacts with the crowd. It's super fun. So does he write his own stuff and, and perform it, or is it Yes, he does. He also does familiar songs, familiar but he, songs, he okay. also does his own. And he's been named Western Entertainer of the Year. He, wow. He travels around the Western states and performs. That's what he does, and he's very good at it. Great. And that is on the 13th. How much is that? It's $22 a person. Um, and so it's it's Dave Stamey, but there's also some other stuff you have going on. Well, at absolutely. Event. I mean, as part of our fundraising uh, efforts, we have a, a silent auction. Okay. We've gotten uh, like a trip to Disneyland. Uh, we have a really nice package up in Tahoe. And then we also have generous support of many local merchants who uh, donate items that we're going to be raffling off. Right. And we'll be serving light refreshments, and there'll be door prizes. So you it'll be a, a lot of fun. You have an MC for the event as well? Yes, we do, Mr. Jim Guidi. World famous. <laughs> world, world, famous. Famous. world famous. 
Yeah, well, it's going to be a competition. World yeah, it's really going to be fun. MC with, with and a world famous cowboy poet. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I think it's going to be great. So I really encourage people to come out. It's it's going to be a really fun time. All right, and again, the money goes towards the activities that the that the friends of the Ambador County Library do. Um, shelves. What else? Is, what else do you guys have going on? Well, one thing There's, I can talk about our, our uh, most recent project is the digitization right, of right. the uh, Ambador Ledger. Uh, back to the mid-1800s. And uh, it's going to be online and accessible to all people, uh, not just in Aminor, but everywhere, you know, that can do uh, genealogical research, history. You know, there's still a lot of stories being written about the gold rush here in our, our you know, our gold country. And we actually have already uh, started the project. We've sent out a number of uh, microfilm. I don't know if you've ever done research on microfilm, but oh, boy, yeah. it is, it's hard. It's very tedious. And also microfilm and you deteriorates. Yeah. You can't do word searches, and you know microfilm doesn't last forever. So it's right. going to be online. You can search by keyword, and it's. I think it's going to be really great. We hope to have it done by the end of the year. Great, and yes, Stan. And one more thing. This is Stan Liquids. I want to mention that the newspaper is going to give this to the friends of the library, so it will become property of the friends of the library. So if the newspaper was to sell. They don't have access to that. And this is a great deal for our county and, and other people to have this history. And I think it's going to go back to 1852. And wow. it'll, it's, it's probably, in my opinion, one of the greatest things that the Friends of the Library have done. And I, but I'm a big supporter of them anyhow. It, it's, it's a good group of people, and they get a lot of work done. I've been to a couple of their meetings. And uh, that's all I'm done. All right. How much are tickets? $22. 20. And you can get them at Motherload Music, Hein & Company, uh, Brent & Jeff's Hardware up in Pine Grove, mm -hmm. and uh, also online through Brown Paper Tickets. Great. Brown Paper Tickets, what is that, dot com, dot, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, just Brown Paper Tickets. And they're a great organization because they um, help nonprofits sell tickets. And I think the ticket fee is maybe $1.45. And if you've right. gotten something from Ticketmaster or some other group, you know they can charge quite a bit. So it's, right. it's very reasonable. So All it right. makes it easy. Very good. Jan, thank you very much for joining us. Okay. Thank you for having me. And we'll be back right after this on Hometown Radio. Hey, thanks a lot. <laughs> Busted. Mm. 1340 KVGC, Dave Eisner, obviously live at the National Hotel. They just brought me a, um, looks like a Philly cheesesteak sandwich and some Parmesan garlic fries or something that are delicious. Jim has a Mai fish taco, which I understand is good. Uh, Mike is enjoying one right now, and those are also good, some things. And we'll be talking a little bit later with... Uh, some folks from the National about uh, some of their lunch offerings, but we appreciate them bringing them right now. It smells delicious in here right now. So we're here now to talk about the uh, Rotary Club, right? Correct. And I have with me Art Long. Art Long. Art Long from the uh, Rotary Club of Jackson. <clears throat> What's your big thing that you guys have going on right now? 
Well, coming up on uh, March the 12th, we're putting on our first uh, trivia challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, and the uh, idea is to get folks involved in uh, trying to spend a little money and earn a little money and help support our uh, Rotary Youth Leadership Awards. Okay. And uh, we wanted to do a, a fundraising project that would be fun for the participants as well as the folks putting the uh, event on. And how does this work? Well, people uh, get a team of anywhere from one to four people. Mm -hmm. uh, they fill out a registration form. Uh, it's a $100 fee per team. And uh, we play three uh, trivia games, kind of a tournament style. It's not like the, the bar room uh, style. And each question uh, that we ask is timed. And all teams will play all three games, regardless of how well they do, because they never know the next game they may do a little better. Right. And then, uh, if necessary, we'll have tiebreakers after that. And uh, we also invite uh, spectators to come down and uh, participate. Uh, spectators are, are welcome for $10 a person. And we'll give them a answer sheet to play along. Uh, one of the things we found out in, in talking to people about this is they say they don't know anything about trivia. Well, that's why it's trivia. You really do know. You right. just the, it's just up just there somewhere. It. Yeah, Stay yeah. It, in the back. When that light comes on, you know yeah. what the answer is. So uh, it, it's an opportunity for them to come and, and play and realize that, hey, uh, I can do this. So when we do this again, uh, we can uh, have a few more people involved that weren't involved this year. Great. And uh, v various categories of trivia. It's uh... There isn't a question that that we're going to ask it can't be found in history, entertainment, art, geography, sports, or science. Great. Because somewhere, just about everything you know or hear is it's related somehow to that. So, what was Art Long's badge number? <laughs> 4857. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Art won that one. I'm going to write that one down. <laughs> and uh, again, when is this? When this is will this be happening? March the 12th. Okay. Saturday. It'll be held at the uh, Sutter Creek Auditorium. Great. Uh, we open the doors at 2 p.m. Uh -huh. The game starts at 3 p.m. And we hope to get everybody out in time for dinner. And how many people do you have signed up so far? We have about uh, 12 teams signed up so far, so we have room for more folks. And uh, we have no idea how many spectators we're going to have, but we're ready for them. Got it. And do you have, uh, you have food, drinks? We have... We have snack food, and we'll have a cash bar. Okay. And, uh, you know, everybody is welcome. And we'll uh, identify people who are underage, naturally, so that we don't have a mix-up there. Good idea. Uh, but uh, we're, we're looking to have a good time. Uh, Frank Halverson is going to be our MC. He's the caller. And uh, right. if you've ever been around Frank, he can ad-lib real well, and, and yep. I think he'll keep people entertained so that... The stress of the game uh, won't get to it. Right, right, perfect. All right, and uh, March twelfth. What what's the entry fee again? And and how how would somebody if they wanted to put together a team of masterminds, brilliant geniuses, um, to play? Well, uh, how do they do that? They can go to uh, jacksonrotary.org, uh -huh. and right in the middle of our homepage is a place for them to click and all the information will come up in three different pages uh, it'll talk about the trivia challenge and times dates and those things uh, the next page is the rules and the third page is an entry form got it all they have to do is fill out that entry form and uh, mail it back to us it's getting a little late uh, but if you will uh, uh, give us a call at uh, 217 8126 and let us know that you're going to be there that'll that'll be fine and you can also if you want to uh, use email uh, you can go to rotary jackson at gmail.com and Got it. we'll get information uh, shared that way do you have to answer in the form of a question no it's okay. not jeopardy okay <laughs> <laughs> okay and frank's a lot better than alex trebek anyway right 
Well, at least he's local. Yeah, I was going to say, he's not, <laughs> he's not Canadian. No, no, Frank, Frank's a great guy, and, and we really appreciate him standing up and uh, willing to MC this thing. All right, and aside from being fun, like you said, the, the proceeds go towards a good cause. Right. Uh, we try to send as many uh, high school kids that are between their junior and senior year to summer camp, and this summer camp is called Rotary uh, Youth Leadership Awards. And it's a... Uh, an amazing thing these kids go through and they come back and tell just great stories about their experience and uh, I get emotional every year when I hear that stuff right. but it, it costs us about between seven and eight hundred dollars a student to get them to that so that's the purpose of this is to get those funds available and you know, get as many kids off to camp as we can all right Art, thank you very much for joining us. It's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. You bet. All right. And we'll be back from the National Hotel right after this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dig into this, <laughs> some more of this uh, sandwich right here. Thanks a lot, Art. Thirteen forty KVGC. Dave Eisenhower live at the National Hotel in downtown Jackson. I still have. Um, uh, I'm still enjoying this fantastic. Um, I'm making you hungry. This fantastic Philly uh, Philly Prime sandwich, Philly. prime rib Philly. Um, we're going to talk with Stan first, though. Stan wants to talk a little bit more about the Hub event that's happening tonight. But yes, I just want to mention we've got good publicity, and I know Jim talked about it earlier, but I want to impress. Anya, this is a great event to help the youth of Amador County. This is a dinner you go to, and there's, like other fundraisers, there's raffles and auctions and dessert to be sold, and you can have a great time. And it's $40 a ticket, but 100% of that money is going to the youth. Um, Frank from Tommy's and myself pick up the tab for the food, and we sell the booze and give the money to them. So they only have one fundraiser a year, and last year we raised 13000 and it, and it's this is run by ACRA, and they need all the extra money they can get. And I'd, I'm not a guy that wants to do things that go down, so I expect this year to make 15000 So I want to get as many people as I can involved. Starts about 5.30 tonight. 
it'll be mostly over by 8.30 to 9. You want to have a few more libations, you can stay there a little later. But I would encourage everybody to come to this event, and it's nice and dry there in case it's raining. Thank you very much. <clears throat> it's going to rain, so you should go to the event, basically, is the bottom line. All right, thank you very much, Stan. Um, and now I have with me a crew from, uh, from Stanley Steakhouse in the National Hotel. Kelly, April, and I didn't get your name. Patrick. Patrick. Oh, I've talked to you before. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what do we have here? First of all, what do we have here in front of us? We have... Uh, right here you have the prime rib Philly sandwich that we do in-house. It's all fresh sliced and comes with the bell peppers, grilled onions, and provolone cheese. You have the garlic fries, which are delicious, hand-cut mm -hmm. fries. Here we have mahi tacos that come in a Cajun seasoning. It has a cabbage slaw on top, a ranch dressing, and a mango pico de gallo. Wow. All right. And they are amazing. I was talking to a friend of mine today. I do a, I do a little show early in the morning at, uh, from 540, or for 445 to 5 our time uh -huh. with a guy over in New York. Huh. And we do a live every Friday morning. And I was telling him about garlic fries. He'd never heard of garlic fries really? in New York before. No, never heard wow. of them. And I was just telling him today about <laughs> them. He needs, he needs to come out to California, yeah. come to the National, because these are fantastic. Um, so what, else, what do you guys have? Uh, anything new on the menu? Any changes or um, uh, anything well, we tell people about? We have a, a poached uh, salmon that we're doing basically till the end of Lent for Friday nights. It's a poached salmon with a Meyer lemon and parsley, a little bit of white wine. Mm -hmm. It's selling pretty, pretty well. We've been doing that. And the calamari we're running all day long on Friday, kind of okay. help people out. Right. <laughs> for the good Catholics. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like Jim. Jim, Jim. Jim likes it. How is that mahi taco? It's great. It's, great. it's it really gluten is. free too, so yeah, if, you're, if you're worried about that. It's gluten-free, even. You don't have okay. to hunt for the fish. The so, fish is amazing. April, what do you do here? I'm a server. You're a server. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Get up kind of close. Uh, and how, how's, uh, how's business? Are you busy? Do you, are you on your feet 20 all, all day long? Um, yes, busy? pretty much. Okay. We're, we've been very busy during lunch. Okay. It's been good. We talk about the food all the time we, because it, it's delicious. Um, service is an important thing, right, here at, at Stanley Absolutely. Steakhouse? Absolutely, being uh, pleasant and there for our guests. That's what we do. Right. Okay. Very good. And Kelly, you're here too. Is uh, um, what, what do you have going on lately? Well, we just keep. Been, sorry, we've been keeping really busy. We're excited uh -huh. for uh, St. Patrick's Day. Patrick's putting a special menu, menu together right. for St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm. Then we have Dandelion Days. A week later, we have Easter. We'll be doing brunch. And so we've got a busy month. We've got a couple of weddings coming up. So we're okay. keeping busy. I'm keeping very busy. And on Dandelion Days, we'll be serving food outside in front of the restaurant, correct? Absolutely. Really? Patrick's coming up with a special menu for that. You got to come up with some special corned beef and cabbage. Uh, we, did, we did the corned beef and cabbage last year. Uh, leaning more towards we'll have, um, as far as we'll have a shepherd's pie, we'll do a black and tan, pork tenderloin, a few things like that that other places I don't think are doing around here. So hopefully oh, that good. So out. if you if you want to go out on St. Patrick's Day or for Dandelion Days, and you don't want uh, what everybody <laughs> else is serving, which is corned beef and cabbage, you could get yeah. Some and I know we're going to do a few specialty drinks, and we'll have a Guinness float, a few other things right. to kind of help pass the day. All right, and Easter brunch. So you have Easter brunch that's coming up pretty soon uh, this later this month as well. What's uh, what's on the menu for that? We haven't put that menu quite together yet. Okay. We've talked about. Uh, some different menu items, but um, Patrick's got a few on his mind, but right now we haven't put that together, but we'll keep you posted for sure. Patrick, how do you come up with the menu items? I eat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, just things I see, things that we have, uh, try to work with stuff that we already have in-house, so right. don't have to get the bill too high from our so <laughs> food providers. That, do you know that, that this will work in good combo with that and so forth. Uh, yeah, somewhat. Yeah, basically, I try to get everything that we we usually try it before we send it out, just to make sure. Yeah, have a few people's call. ideas. Test kitchen. <laughs> Jim will be the test kitchen. Actually, Patrick does a great job. I'm really pleased with the specials he's put together for Lent and um, the holidays that he's worked really hard with. I couldn't have done it without him and his crew. So, and my team as well in the bar and restaurant. So, uh, you know, he's a great guy to have on staff. 
he leads the kitchen. So. And you guys have a, a good selection of burgers as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you have, like, what's... It, it's it's more than like just a bacon cheeseburger. What's sort of give us a couple of examples? Of yeah, one of our uh, better sellers. If you're into blue cheese, it's a got the melted blue cheese, caramelized onions, ranch dressing, barbecue sauce, and a little bit of Swiss. Wow. And that one sells pretty well. We also do a, I mean, one of our best sellers is the Golden State Burger. Mm-hmm. It's bacon, avocado, cheddar cheese. Lettuce, My son's addicted onion. to that one. Yeah, he loves that one. Warriors fans like yeah. that one. Really? We, <laughs> just because of the name, the Golden State. Yeah. We Does have Steph a Western Curry ever burger. come up here, and you ought to invite him to come up here. I would, I would love that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anything else you guys want to talk about as far as Stanley Steakhouse? Come here, eat some good food. Um, it's going to be rainy outside. Should be rainy for all this weekend, but yeah. nope. we're still open. <laughs> yeah, we're still yeah. here. Clear skies inside. Food will yes. be good. Yeah. Warm, cozy. Perfect. All right. Have, also, we have live music tonight, too. Um, there's a girl called Green. She comes down from Sacramento, and she plays the guitar live acoustically. Has a great voice. The locals love her. So come on down tonight and tomorrow and listen to Green and have a great time. Perfect. All right, guys. Thank you very much for joining us. And that's going to wrap it up for us here from the National Hotel in downtown Jackson. Thanks for listening. <laughs>